So today I'm gonna do my first empties video and I had to like run around the house and like see all the stuff that you know I had uh, needed to show you for this empties video. <clears throat> so let's just get started because you know how I like to talk and stuff and then sometimes if I don't go fast then I'm gonna end up with a 20 minute video that I have to like shrink. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's get to it. All right, <clears throat> I am so happy that this is done. This is the Sonia Kashuk Brush and Sponge Cleanser. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that because it's see-through and all that, but <clears throat> but trust me, that's what it is. And I have a review on this, um, which I will link somewhere in the video or down at the bottom bar if you're interested to go see that. But long story short, I'll save you the time. I'm not gonna repurchase this. Um, I might keep the bottle just because, you know, you never know when you're going to use a spray bottle, but um, I was disappointed with this product. It didn't do what it said it was going to do. Um, I use it for like deep cleansing my um, like a synthetic brush and it was like very dense. Um, and so I think it was like six bucks or something like that. I want to say it was a five something or six something. And I was just disappointed because I have a previously used a soap that's called Spears or Piers or something like that that I get at the Dollar Tree I think and I used to get it at CVS but now they started carrying it at Dollar Tree which is awesome um and it's a dollar and it takes out everything and this is way more expensive and it doesn't do the job it just didn't do the job for me so I'm very glad that it's done but I am going to be keeping the bottle this is like the maybe like fifth or sixth or seventh I don't even know how many times I've repurchased this but this is the Equate oil free eye makeup remover and I've tried the Neutrogena one I've also tried the Target version of, of this product and I just like this one um, because I guess because one of two things um, I go to Walmart more than I go to Target because Walmart is a little closer to my house um, and I think the Target one might be a, like pennies cheaper than this, but I go to Walmart more than I do Target. So anyway, um, and like I said, I did buy, I have bought the Neutrogena one and I just can't see a difference between this one, the Target one or the Neutrogena one. They work the same, in my opinion, they work the same. And so I just keep buying this one because it's so accessible to me. And I don't see a reason why I'm going to pay, you know, a dollar or two dollars more for something that this can do. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Alright, this one I'm really, really sad about. <laughs> I talked about this perfume in like, I want to say it was in January that I put it in my favorites. And it smells so good. <laughs> I got this at Fetus. Um, It's the, I want to say it's called Unforgettable Moments. And the, um... The one, because they came out with a whole bunch of them. I have like two more, but of different kind. This one is called the Tropical Teas. Look at the bottle. It's so pretty. It's like pink, and then it fades to like yellow. And I'm so happy that I have another bottle of it, because I bought it on eBay. And it really wasn't even that expensive, which is awesome. But I'm sad that I'm never going to, like once I run out of the other bottle, um, then I'll never smell this again. It's so good. I'm like so happy that it's over. But then again, no, because I'll never smell it again. I don't know. But the bottle is so pretty. And it makes me want to keep it. I don't know. What do you do with like old bottles like this? Like, I don't know. There's a little more in there. Okay. All right. Um, what else? Let's see. Ooh, okay. Speaking of equate things. Okay, remember a little while ago, I want to say it was like two weeks ago or something, where I talked about how I got a Clarisonic and then what I was using with my Clarisonic? I had been using the, or I still am using because I'm still going through it. It's the um, Dollar General kind of uh, the Neutrogena, that like white cream, old school cream that they had back in the day. Well, I'm still using that one, but before that one, I was using this one. And I ran out. I don't remember how much this was, but I did buy this at Walmart. It's the um, Deep Cleansing Skin Cream. And it has like menthol and eucalyptus. And it makes your face feel, it's not abrasive or anything like that. It just makes it feel fresh and like minty and stuff. I don't know. 
but I really like it and I went through one of these already. All right, what else did I go through? I went through another tube of my um, Best Lash Extreme. Um, I've gone through maybe like three, four, five, I don't even know. I have, I have like two that are open now and then one that one of my friends gave me um, because I told her about it and then I guess she was, I, I don't know, she was really nice and she like bought me another one but that one's new. And I have two more that I have to go through. But this is another one that I went through already. All right. What else? <clears throat> okay. Remember those boxes that I used to get? Like the Beauty Army box and the um, Arch box? Well, I've been trying to like work myself through those samples. Because what I had been noticing and why I, I canceled the boxes. It's um, because I had been getting all these boxes. And I was accumulating boxes. And I wasn't going through the samples I was just accumulating samples and I don't know why I hadn't been using all of them and stuff but anyway point of the story is that I went through this which is a bath and body works um, shower gel and the um, smell is the Paris one um, would I get this again probably not because I don't really go to bath and body works I know it's crazy that I don't do that but I just don't and um and if i do i rarely buy things you know like i think the last thing i bought from that store was one of those like little um hand uh like uh, what is it called those little um alcohol things when you can't wash your hands you know what i'm talking about i don't know why i can't think right now anyway one of the story is that's probably one of the last things that i bought from there and so um, do i think that i'm gonna be buying something like this not that it doesn't smell nice it does smell nice the only thing is that um i don't know i guess if it smelled better i'd be like yes i'm totally gonna buy some more but i don't know i just don't all right what else okay something that i saw and this is like the second one and i also have another one that was like uh this is like the second shampoo bottle and I still have the conditioner over there because I ran out of shampoo before I ran out of the conditioner. Um, but this is the second one. The first one I can find because my mom probably threw it away. Which, you know, whatever. She's She sees me accumulating trash and she's like, <laughs> she doesn't know. She's like, let me just throw all this shit away. True. Then I can't do my empties video. Anyway, point of the story is that the, um, I was at the dollar store and I was um, attracted to this color because I was like, wow, this color is so pretty. So... I picked it up and I was like, I smell it. It smells really, really good. It's called Daily Defense and it's um, it has argan oil in it. And I just really like the smell. And I did buy the shampoo before I bought the conditioner. And then I went back and I bought more. But anyway, point of the story, it smells really good. And I'm not really particular on like the shampoo that I use. Maybe I should be, but I'm not really that particular about it. So, um... I know like a lot of people like buy really expensive shampoos and like when and all that other stuff I'm just I don't know I haven't gotten on the bandwagon for that so I haven't signed up for that yet <laughs> so <laughs> let me keep going <laughs> okay so I bought this a long time ago I don't even know I think I, I did make a haul video about it but <clears throat> this was in my shower because I wanted to use it while I was in the shower it's called skin effects and the reason why oh it's a glycolic cream cleanser and the reason why I bought this is because one of my favorite shows it's called uh, mirror mirror by the way I don't know if you guys um, have ever seen that but I'll link the bottom their website and stuff so you can see like segments and stuff there's this girl her name is Rebecca and then she goes to this other lady her name is um, Rachel and she owns like a salon and Rachel was talking about glycolic cream cleansers and she recommended one of those so i was like let me go to the drugstore to see if they have it there so of course they did have this one and this was pretty expensive i want to say it was like 12 dollars or 13 dollars or something like that and i was like well maybe it's gonna help well i had it for a really really long time and i didn't see no difference like i really really did not see a difference and it, it might just be because you have to like keep consistently buying it and stuff but i don't know i just didn't see a difference so that's what that looks like 
Okay, so the next two things I'm, I'm gonna be talking about is gel polish. Now, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I am in love with gel polish. Oh, and I know that I said that I was gonna do a video about gel nail polish, and that's coming. I swear, I promise you that it is coming, so keep, you know, tuned for that. Anyway, well, um, if you like gel nail polish, you know that you have to get like, um, this called the the cleanser stuff I have like so many of these cleansers and this is the first finger paints one that I got I can't see a difference between the finger paints one and like the other one that I usually get which is the red carpet manicure that I always get from Ulta so um I got this one and there is something in there but it's just because I have so many of these little things around that I started repurposing them for other things so I decided that I was gonna show you but this is alcohol in it already but to show you that yeah I do use these and these like I use a lot of these this is probably like the fifth or the sixth one I probably there was a time where I stopped doing my gel nail polish so I probably would if I hadn't stopped um then I would probably have accumulated more of, of those little bottles anyways okay speaking of gel polish okay I got these two little things and um one of them is the one that came with my um gelish like starter kit and this one is called the foundation i'm sorry that it looks so crazy like that i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that but anyways this is the foundation and um, i just think that this one is okay i actually prefer the red carpet manicure one and i feel like this one i've had for you know obviously since i got it which was more than a year ago but i feel like this one went too goopy faster than this one this one has really given like it's ten dollars worth whatever the hell it cost i want to say it was ten dollars at ulta it's definitely worth the money i actually before this was like went too goopy for me to be able to use i already have bought another one and that's the one i'm currently using it's another one of these and if i ever find another one that's better i will let you know like always so anyways what else was i going to tell you um i think that's it guys i think that is it maybe wait did i show you the eyeliner yet let me show you the eyeliner just so you know <clears throat> okay so this is the last thing i'm going to show you it's called the prestige total intensity and the color is in um, deepest black i use this almost every day and the reason why i'm retiring it is because i, a, I have another one and b because um Actually, I have two. I have one of these, and then I have another one that I have to work through, which is the Scandalize, um, which I need to get like an opinion about and stuff. But um, it's getting like really hard to sharpen, so I'm gonna retire it for now. So that is it. Oh my god, I have a lot of trash on the floor. Okay, well I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go edit this. And have you noticed that I've been posting a video every day this week? I have one more day to go because I challenged myself to do a video every day that I was off or every day this week because I'm on vacation. So, I think I've been doing pretty well. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Oh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you, mm, tomorrow's my last day, so yeah. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, bye.